so hello and welcome back guys today as you can see we will be doing a magazine page to do that first take a page with the proper ratio as you can see first we will take the model drag and drop and then by pressing control t we will adjust the height of the picture we will upscale the picture We'll press right. Now, we will take pen tool and roughly select the T-shirt. As you know, with the pen tool, we just roughly select some parts. Similarly, do it. Later, we will do the fine tuning with add anchor point tool. Now take the add anchor point tool and make the curves prominent. Each curve. Add points, no matter how many points you need to add, just add them and make sure the curves are perfect. We have not missed any parts out, make sure of that. Uh, just like this if you want any uh, new creative designs that you want many creative uh, new innovative designs you can just watch our channel subscribe to our channel for more and we will try our best to bring those tutorials to you Now, as you can see, I am doing the fine tuning with the anchor point tool. Now, as you can see, the whole t-shirt has been selected. So, some parts are left out. We will select that part also with paint tool. then add anchor point tool so as you can see on the right hand side there has been two shapes because i've selected these two parts of this uh, t-shirt separately so for that first uh, increase the opacity as you can see both parts are selected so now take these two shapes and group them and name them as object id Now I'll um, rasterize the main layer, the uh, layer with the model in it. Then take magic wind tool and then select the subject. So as you can see, the subject we have, the model will be selected. For the fine tuning, press Control Shift and Shape 1 and Shape 2. So as you can see, the whole part of the model will be selected along the t-shirts and jeans and everything. So, so as you can see, this part has been selected extra, the bottom part. We will take So I'll go to object ID and by pressing control shift we will select the hoodie we'll get the cutout of the hoodie only now 
Oh, extremely sorry, I've deleted one layer. So by again by pressing Control Z, we can uh, bring that back. Bring the layer back. As you can see, the layer is back. So we will take that layer down, bring it below. Then by pressing Control, click on the layer on. And then go to select. Then press inverse. So there we will create another mask. So now as you can see. The only part that I wanted is has been cut out separately for the layer. Then. Going to mask. And you can just. Select the layer and uh, with the white brush you can just uh, with the brush you can just take white and we will take the brush tool and paint the body of the model. So as you can see the only t-shirt part has been colored with the newspaper pattern but not anything else not the body not the face of the model not the jeans or anything just the selected part the part I wanted. So follow this process very carefully. You can just zoom in into the screen and uh, watch it properly. Now copy this layer of hoodie by pressing Ctrl J. Make three copies of them. Then name them as uh, light, midtone and shadow. For midtone it will be for midtone it will be linear to add. Then go to adjustments, levels and adjust the points. For shadow it will be linear burn and for the light it will be screen. And then as you know, this is the same drill for every mock-up, okay? I mean most of the mock-up, not every mock-up, there are exceptions, but for every mock-up. And then you have to just adjust the levels according to your preferences, how it looks good, based on that. As I'm doing it right here. Now, for every layer, we'll go to saturation and we will make it minus 100 for every layer, okay? For all the three layers that we've just created. Once you're done, group these three layers and name them as FX. Now, by switching on and off the this layer, you can understand that we have a new texture. Then we will write something on it that is, we will write fashion. We'll right click on it and we will bring that layer on top of the newspaper. Then change the color according to your preference. You can change the front style, we'll just take a simple bold style. And by pressing Ctrl T, you can just adjust the size. To make it even more beautiful, just see. We'll select the model. You have the cutout of the model. First press Ctrl and select the layer. Then bring a blank layer. Then as you can see, the foreground color is black. Uh, is white, sorry. So for that, then, then you just have to multiply with it. Then go to FX. Then select outer glow. And after that, you will get this page where you have to change the color. We'll take a blackish, a darkish color. Now we'll adjust the points. Uh, normal will become multiply. The opacity will be increased. And then adjust the points a little. So as you can see, there is a glow on behind the model. This helps the model to be separate from the background because the background and the pattern of the t-shirt is exactly same. This will help it to be separate from it. So then when the person is looking at it, notices both the things, the background and the model. 
and it creates a nice effect and the moment you place the writing on top of this layer you can see that the even the writing has got the same uh, glow around it and the same effect so as you can see there is a white outline thin very thin white outline around the model Now we will take the smudge tool and we will erase them. How? Now see it. So as you can see, it's a lot. It's it's very disturbing. Separating the whole thing very awkwardly. So we will take. I will take the smudge tool and then first you need to blur it then with the smudge tool you can just slowly you can erase them Now we will do the this part also. So as you can see, this white outline we had is gone. The problem we had is solved. Now we will add some more texts. We'll write magazine. We'll change the color in white. And then write magazine. Then by pressing Ctrl T, just adjust the size. But we want the model to be in the front. So what do I do now? Select canvas in the select the middle so that the writing is absolutely in the middle. Then then take the mask on this magazine layer. Then by pressing Ctrl, press the layer 1 select the layer 1 and then by pressing on the masking option paste uh, press control backspace as you can see the model has been taken at the front but if you uh, place this glowing effect on the top of this uh, writing the upper part of the model which has been on the top of the magazine writing that will also have a glow but if you don't want it you can just keep it simple as you want it and then we will have some more text we are having a random text just uh, as you know the, the magazines have all this text and everything all around it different advertisements or informations and all that so we'll just make sure it looks good by copying it in the first line we'll make it bold just so it makes it gives us a vibe of a heading so we can change the color we will keep it white because it looks better Now you can answer more things or anything you want. Now 
will fill these places, all these places that has been empty with uh, more writings. You can download all these PhD files through our Patreon family. Just whoever, uh, besides from that, if you want it, want to download it, so you can just drop a comment and we will send them via mail ID, by to your mail ID. So. Feel free to do so. Now for the magazine also we'll have we'll create a drop shadow. You can adjust the requirements you want for the layers and everything. You can change the angle of the shadow with it. Now, as you can see, we are done with it. You can keep editing to, you can keep editing to um, whatever extent you want. Now you will bring that and place it on the front of the cover page. We will, by pressing Ctrl T, we can just adjust the size and then press the right or save it. And as you can see, it has been pasted on the front page of the magazines. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.